Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my shed. Today's video, well, this is actually the second time I've oh. done it. Oh, someone wants to say hello. Say hello. She's, um, yes, got bigger, and she thinks she talks. Well, actually, she does talk. Oh. Yeah, really? Yeah, any more? That'll do? Everything's edible at present minute. Like fingers and, and everything else. Ooh, that didn't go well. Well, I did say I wasn't going to edit this video, so you're going to have to bear with me. Here we go. Back to video again. Welcome to my channel. Loads of videos. Moped time. Talk about today. Talk about moped time today. <laughs> I'm really going to have to edit this, but there we go. I get asked frequently the same sort of questions moped won't run moped won't turn over it won't start what's wrong with it and it's awfully difficult sometimes just to guess with information you give me in the description today go down there's a load of videos i've selected about 10 videos all that will help you with what you're asking basically and i go on about it again and again and again carburetors you know it's the best place to start when your bike's not running now if it's been running and it gets harder to start and stuff like that you really got to start looking at your spark plug okay just regularly service them two t's four t's keep an eye on the plug four t's keep an eye on the oil okay because it's 1040 oil in there and you will burn a little bit but let's talk about two t's mainly today <laughs> plug it needs to be a nice sort of coffee color light brown color perfect burning no deposits on there really light coffee color i call it that's a really good plug a happy plug doesn't mean you can't change it you know plugs thousand to four thousand miles should be changing them anyway it doesn't matter if it looks good or not it's regularly changing them really does good now you want a good blue spark from these okay not that orangey spark a good blue spark and if you're testing it and you've got the cap on and you're turning it over you should get a blue spark you should better move it away ever so slightly and the spark should jump if it's a black sooted plug you know the really quite thick deposits on there you're running too rich and you might be better off just cleaning your air filter or i will get on to air petrol mix in a minute if it's gummed up and i mean really gummed up with like sticky shiny oily deposits you've got other problems okay you've got too much oil going in there your rings can be worn you're getting stuff up there but generally it shouldn't be that color and we're going to go over that next so there's a plug now carburetors auto choke does cause some problems but a lot of people say to me mark um it starts it bogs down and when it's warm it doesn't auto choke that is to come out cut the screws oh, just cut the screws in there that comes out of this does turn okay and when i say that it actually detaches when you cut when it comes out and it will move so you can actually adjust how much choke you've got on it's a big top tip anyway carburetor these are cheap chinese ones and not peugeot speed fight ones when i say to you let's find the one that's got the bit in it here we go when i say to you clean these carburetors i mean don't just get your carburetor cleaner and spray it all around that's not clean the damn thing I mean, you want to spray in all these little holes here. You want to take the oil choke out and spray in there. You want to get it off, take the slide out, spray it in there. Spray in here, spray through here. Don't get in your eyes. I've said that many times before. Turn it over. Get this jet. You need to get screwdriver. You need to get this jet right out, okay? Get the spray and Hopefully, you've got the nozzle bit on it, like a straw. And you want to spray right through here. Blow through it. It needs to be clean. Now, pilot jet. On the good ones, okay, these Peugeot Speedfight ones, this here, you can actually take it out, okay? Get it out, blow it through it, spray it all, put it back in again. These ones you can't. Here's your float, okay? I've often mentioned this. Some people say it floods all the time. Well, end of the day, this may not be working. Now, I've done a top tip on this before. When you've got it all back together again like this, get a bit of pipe on here and blow. And when it's down, you should hear, and when it turns upside down, it should stop. That's so you know that your petri is working and obviously it's not going to flood. Now, too much fuel and not enough fuel will still bog down. So you never know which one it is. But that's a good start. Take the screw out, take it out, clean it all up. Don't lose the bits, okay? If you're going to do it, put a sheet down, do it on a sideboard. I've been in here years now and I've lost all sorts of stuff. Right, where's the other little one I want? Okay. That is your idle. Top one's your idle, okay? And when you look through, 
there's a screw there and let me find a screwdriver and let me show you when people up the idle here we go ready you can see it's slowly coming out what you mustn't do is see that where it's touching the needle this way you bend the needle and you get all sorts of problems with that so try not to do that when you're up in the revs the next one purge speed fight some are blocked off and it's a real bugger but again when i'm cleaning it i take that out top tip get a hacksaw if it's got a block on it get a hacksaw keep hacksawing if you've got to go very far this is really soft anyway and you just keep hacksawing keep hacksawing and you're going to get a line down it then get your screwdriver now when that comes out there's a spring in here okay don't lose that spring you lose a spring well the pain i haven't used that for a long time spray in here clean this with a nice clean cloth nice microfiber cloth you want to clean that same as this take this out and give it a spray through you don't know what's been clogged up in there i mean you don't know how long it's been in there either so just take that one out spring on there again give that a good clean okay you can't go wrong make sure you remember all the bits are so watch the video not all of them some of the other makes and models carburetors this might be the other way around but generally the speed fight top one and you can see it because i showed you how it goes through and that's rare petrol mix but blow it all through properly job done last little bit on your carburetor these two screws here <sighs> I've had them before where they've been sat there for many, many years. You've got two screws in there and you're good, best screwdriver you can get and get them out, okay? If you start rounding it off, back to the hacksaw, hacksaw really slowly because these are much um, tougher steel metal. Go through it and get a flathead screwdriver, get it out, get rid of it. If you snap it or you get it back in there and you need to take it back off again, weld the pain again. If it snaps off and you can get it off, pair of mole grip to see if you can get it out. You can't re-drill these. The only thing you can sometimes do is go in this way and then get a bolt on it. But you're going to start getting, imagining, over-exaggerating here, but you're going to start leaking petrol out. If any petrol starts leaking out of your carb, it'll be a bitch to start, okay? It just will. Because petrol will come out, it, it won't fill up straight away, it's flood here as well. It just causes all sorts of problems because you're getting air in you don't want. Air petrol mix, I've gone about this before standard all the way in and then it's three half turns out that's standard that doesn't mean your bike's going to run any better remember what it was set before so it's four two and then come out or in from there generally i found most bikes are happy between three and five if you start getting in more than that <clears throat> you've got some air problems anyway now on speed fights this is the link box most of the time throw it away you don't need it and you'll find a bike will run better. A sports exhaust and taking this link pipe off. No upjetting, happy days. Upjetting, standard 54, 56, give or take. I'll go to 60. No more, 64 is too big, 62 maybe. A bike's happy, as I said. Flooding, you'll get bogging down. So don't think when it's bogging down, you've not got enough fuel. You have, and sometimes too much. Then sponge air filters said before, do not use them. Use the original air box you've got, but you can get a sports inside filter, so they go in there. Generally, just a good clean and wash, happy days. So there's your carburetor, clean it. Plug, change, clean. And I say, it does tell you what's wrong with your bike. So if it's black and sooty, you need to go out more with your air petrol mix, or you need to change your air filter. Give it a good clean. That's enough for carburetors for now. This is a Bendix. Ta -da. Do you know when you get in your bike and you know you're eh, eh, and you hear a spinning noise? Oh, and you may catch on a third, fourth time, sometimes straight away. This is this little gadget here. Fits in just behind your variator, right at the front from the start motor. Start motor runs around here, and the actual kick comes out here. Okay? And this is what doesn't kick out. When your Bendix is getting slightly worn, like this one, it doesn't flick out. Okay? And this is where you get this spinning noise. This isn't going out. Alright? It needs to come out. They are getting harder to get. 100 cc is impossible. 50 cc's. There's a couple of sorts. Okay. She's at it again. Not everything is edible. Oh well, it does seem to be. She's coming up to 14 weeks. Um, bless her. Right, Bendix, as I said. Now that's your electric start. Kick start. 
gone over these before. These bits, again, bloody hard to get hold of. The teeth wear where people kick them and they start to rub and then you get a world of pain with that one. Now, if you've got a moped that kick starts but doesn't like electric starting, even though you've got a good battery, it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes, I would say more than often, it is this, this is called a stator coil. You need a tool to get this off and you don't often get them this clean. They're magnetized, okay? That is a real good bell housing and this is really clean. You've got to think your bike might have done 30,000 kilometers. This gets wet, gets dusty, gets all bits of plastic, and what happens is it, it doesn't make the choice very, you know, don't get good of power from it. The outside is your timing. There's a little marker here, and that's your timing, but the inside is your electric for your bike. Now, battery, your indicators and horn should work. When your bike started, your lights will work, okay? Most of these speed fights, stop eating everything, of 35 watt and when you put a 55 60 watt in there you wonder why they're dim some people get 100 watt don't do it go back to 35 it'll be brighter you're asking too much of this little thing here now I often get asked about variator well i actually say most of the problems that people have are due to your variator with speed you'll say to me my bike was doing 35 mile an hour 40 50 and now it's getting slower to pull away and um, what could it be and I say every time, this is your little gadget here, the variator. And the reason why is because in here you have rollers. And these rollers, there's two missing, I know. And this isn't a speed fight one. These rollers get flat spots. They don't roll. They get really gummed up and they can get belt wear in here and the dust all gets in here. They don't roll. So what's happening is you're staying in, imagine, you're staying in like... Um, you've got one to six gears on a push bike, you're staying in third. No matter what you're trying, it's not. It's harder to pull away, you're not in first. And it's never going to sixth gear, so you're not getting the full out of it. This is what happens in here. Take it off, clean rag, microfiber, whatever you want to use, clean it all out, the rollers replace, all right? They've got any marks on them, and I mean any. And I often say for the speed fights, six grams is brilliant, okay? It's the happy days. I used to combine them, but I think nowadays about 36 grams all in, is perfect for these. Now, you often get a belt break or where you're sitting, you're revving, and your belt will break, okay? What happens then is this, because all of a sudden when you're revving, it's doing this, okay? And then you go and change the belt. And I get an email saying, one second. Yes, everything is edible, including plants. Where was I? You tell me, I've changed the belt, but I'm only getting 20 mile an hour. What's wrong? You didn't take off this. And what happens is they do that because they've stretched out. And then they're not, they're not rolling, they're not doing anything. And all you're trying to do is stay in the same gear. So you need to take them off, reset them, which is just putting them back in there again, clean it all up. Me personally, if you're going to change your belt, change the bloody rollers. All right, nice and simple. You've got all the one anyway. And then make sure you clean everywhere that belt was. So around this main bit shaft here, you've got any black rubby bits on here, clean them off. Be gentle with it. Clutch, pull it out, clean it all off there, put the new belt, wipe around it. It will make the bike a lot, lot happier. So, the belt I made earlier. Now, here's a little tip, okay? It's difficult, this one. You ride on your bike, you know your bike. Unless you've bought a bike that's not running, then you're never going to know. But if you're riding the bike and it dies for whatever reason, you haven't put oil in it, you know it's going to be a piston. If it just dies, which a lot of them do, it makes no sense. Doing this process will knock a lot out. Now, you got your reeds. They're on your car, but they're sometimes hard to get, hard, get it to. They need to be closed, okay? If they're open in any way, you're not going to get your bike starting very well. It won't run very well. I often mention about a hand test. Now... There's your carburetor. Remember, this one has a paper gasket against the actual, um, let's call it manifold, here. And this is okay. This 23 mil carb was on a 50cc standard bike. Mental. Just, it's worth a lot of money, you know, but it should never go on a speed fight 50cc. This little ring here isn't good enough. And I've, you can't get hold of that little gasket anymore. So I've got an old Keller's Cornflake packet. I've done three of them together. Put it, bike ran beautifully, okay? Make sure you tighten them up. And these threads go as well. So if you've got one that's not threaded and you, you can still spin it round, you need to put a bolt on the back, a longer bolt, 
a nut and go through it. It's got to be tight. Any air in there, not going to work. Hand test. The reason why I say this is because this plug, if you're turning it over and it's bone dry, you've got problems. If you put your hand in the back here and it sucks it through, your engine seals are good and your reeds are working. If it's not, you've got a problem with them. Engine seals are a bit scary, but nowadays you can get them out without taking the engine apart. Your reeds can be a bit buggered to get to. Last tip. If you've been riding along, it just dies. Okay, you've been putting good oil in it. They can. These pistons, when you take the head off, doesn't mean just because it's good there. Look at the damage there. That was a bike using cheap oil. But there's also a bike that did 55 mile an hour. 50cc. Got so hot. And I mean really hot. And you start scoring. What happens is the oil stops becoming a lubricant and tries to cool it down. It doesn't work. And you get, well, just get failure. You can get catastrophic failure where this one was just obliterated. Bits came up from the bottom. Um, the, the small ends just obliterated. And that was a bad job. The top tip will be <clears throat> trying to start it, doesn't want to do it. You put in all the old sprays in. If it's the engine seal, she'll sort of pat pat and not just won't do it. Pa, 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 pa. And you think it's going to go and it never will. That's your oil seals. But when your piston's gone, a way to check open the throttle full open and turn it over. If you get like a you'll get a deeper sound out of it as well. But if you get like a backfire like, pew, pew, noise out of it, good my sound effects today. And this is where your piston has failed, okay? Water cooled, bit of a bug, you check it. Air cooled, it's just a simple 20 minute job. Head off and you can check your piston. Again, this is a 70cc. I don't like 70ccs. I can't stress more. I've done a video on big bore kits. I called it 70cc. You can't just get the piston, slap it in, expect the bike to be happy. More than likely, the bike doesn't like running and you're not getting any extra speed out of it. I've said this before. More gas, more air, more out. Okay, you, that's the way it works. But at 50 cc's, um, you're putting a bigger piston in there, but you haven't changed the carburetor. See, so 17.5, you're 19. You may end up going up to 20, 21, 23 mil. You want more air, so you need a better air filter. Uh, one of those sponge things you bloody have to. But that's what you need. And then you've got to tune the damn thing. So you've got your air petrol mix here, haven't you? On this side. It's not going to be three anymore. You're going to need more air in. So better air filter, air petrol mix got to be messed around with. Sometimes you've got to mess with the needle as well. Um, sometimes, because the carb's still the same, you're going to drain all the fuel out of it because it's using a lot more. And you'll get this where you go for 30 seconds and it stalls. And then at 30 seconds later, just start up again and go again. That's because this little thing here isn't filling up enough. It's not as simple. And you need more gases out, don't you? So you need a good sports exhaust on there. Me personally, I've had many bikes now, I've done hundreds. I've took that 70 kit off, I put a 50cc kit on there, and you've got a great speed and a much more happier and reliable bike. That's my top tip, just don't bloody do it. There are exceptions where people have done it and paid a lot of money yet, you know, for 70cc kits, and sometimes I can get 50 that's gone faster. They work, I just find them cheaply made and they don't last. So there you go. Nice little chat today. Um, you may notice. Carburetor cleaner, I forgot to show you spare net. I said it's the second time I've done it. What happened earlier? <laughs> I was doing my Ducati video. I just finished doing an oil change and it just in slow motion for me just fell off the back, bang on the floor, and it's like toast in it. It had to land straight on the bloody bit and it ruined it. So I've got a new GoPro coming, a better model, but I put another I had another lens on this one, so I did the whole video and it's all black in here. So hoping this one I'm wasting my time I thought I'd just release it it was crap so uh, I couldn't do that at all so there you go I'd like to say also thank you so much for everybody staying with me um, when, I, when I first started this it was mainly peds I know a lot of you joined then I've progressed obviously to doing servicing on big bikes and cars and stuff and I do appreciate I've got a good block of about 400 of you guys out there now um, all over the world uh, Mike from uh, America, you're know, Texas, you know. I thought he was a young lad, he's 70. <laughs> and I've got some good ones in the UK. I'll do some shout outs soon. I really will. And I do appreciate you all staying with me. Um, with this coronavirus, I just thought I'd do a little shed video. I've actually got back in here. I will have to get a ped, but we're in lockdown at present minute. So we can't go anywhere. Uh, maybe just to walk the dog, who's still walking around and uh, growing. Yeah, she's 14 weeks, but eating everything. So. 
thank you so much for watching um i did go shopping today it made me laugh it really did and i digress a bit here i um had my shopping dog had my shopping I got shattered at by the bloke i was five foot away two meters he shared at me and i've watched this guy put all of these shopping on the conveyor belt and i've watched the person shattered at me the, the cashier the cashier and he's picking all stuff up and he's putting it at the end and then the guy's about here to hear from him putting it in his bag i thought that's not two meters is it do you know then he's picked my stuff up so i'm thinking wait a minute you've done that 300 times today already so who said that someone hasn't already got that and then he's he's now transmitting it i don't get it do they dog stop it yeah stop eating crap it's nasty people are dying and the dog's talking again <coughs> Um, so while we're in killing dog, while we're in lockdown, I'll do a couple of more videos, okay? Um, the Ducati one, I've got some nice decal coming. Oh God, I've, I've got the tyres changed. Now, Metzler, M5s, not Michelin. It's just I looked and I thought that's what it was. Must check up more. Good money on them, under £66 for both tyres. I come away from the garage this morning, and I, the Ducatis are amazing bikes, you know. If you're going to come off a sports bike, they're best to get. 150 odd brake horsepower, my one is as well. And I've opened up and I've gone, wait a minute, I've got left to right, and I've realised, oh God, I've got brand new tyres. Luckily, because the roundabout was only like 50 yards up, and I'd have probably lost it there. So I need to have a good ride on that one. Anyway, I digress and I chat. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourselves on the road and the dog's just running away with something it shouldn't be. Last look. Oi. Right. What are you doing? Yes. You. I forget what having a puppy was like. Like, share, subscribe. Stay with me. Thank you so much. Um, I had a guy say to me before, I watch all your adverts, you get a little bit of cash. It was really nice. I never thought of that. I've given thousands of people advice. Um, really good. Some of them come back to me and say, yes, Mark, it was this, it was that. Um, and you know, I don't get any money for that. I get a little bit from YouTube, but I get money from the adverts. So if you watch my adverts, then I'll get a few pence. Well, probably 0.5p. <laughs> anyway, take care of yourselves on the road. Your catty coming up. Might have a couple of car ones coming up. Still loving my F-150 that I brought that I can't even go to shows with because the whole place is in lockdown for another whatever time. Um, so I'm still going to the shops 25 miles an hour. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> Stop it. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.